나는 궁금해 니네 허리 사이즈 내 팔에 두르고 싶었지 니네 허리에다 근데 사람들이 쳐다보니 신경을 쓰지 너의 구찌 버클이 말해볼 come and get it Hi everyone this is Yuni from Universe and welcome back to my channel If you're channeling in for the first time please don't forget to subscribe you're gonna see a lot of fun fashion beauty lifestyle videos upcoming and if you're not following me on Instagram yet I'm gonna put a link in the description so please follow me the young errands on Instagram so today is my third makeup tutorial since I started my English videos and I am going to do a very fine makeover um, and it is called Jenny inspired Chanel makeup so when I say Chanel it isn't just because I'm going to use Chanel products I have already using Chanel Perfect Brow Palette to do my brows already to before meeting you guys but because I'm gonna use very cute little Chanel logos that I was very inspired by this photo right here when I was brainstorming for my mood board for my recent photo shoot if you haven't checked out my vlog number two I'm gonna put a link right here so you can go and check out what that look was on set and it was a super fun look um, Austin created on my eyes and I'm gonna redo it thank you so much Austin for inspiring me with this look and when I finished the look um, Robbie who was on the set with me he told me it was like a Lolita look and I looked at Lolita and I've seen the movie as well the original one and I know what it means and I'm not exactly going for that vibe and I prefer something sort of cute but like more sort of fashionable but it's a beauty look and so I wanted to call it Jenny inspired Chanel look so I've already done my hair I'm gonna finish up later I've done my face makeup and for my base makeup you can also check out the link right here I've done pretty much the same process with the no makeup makeup look to make it very natural and glowy and now I'm gonna go right in to do doing my eyes so let's get to it so I'm gonna use this um, eye pencil duo to quickly draw a line that I'm going to use as my guideline. So if you can see, this is the base line that I'm going to put. I'm actually going to use a black eyeliner to draw on top of this to make it into my very big eyeline today. So next up, I'm going to use my L'Oreal Matte Eyeliner and it's a very pointy tip eyeliner I have to be very careful to not make mistakes but if I do, I'll have to use a Q-tip so bear with me Actually, um, okay, like I'm a little satisfied, but um, so since my brush was very thin, it was hard to draw it a little thicker. Um, so I'm gonna try to overline it with my Charlotte Tilbury the Feline Flick. It's a quick line, quick fine line shadow pen. So it's pretty much the same thing and I'm going to try to overline it. Okay, so that's basically one eye done. Um, so as you can see, I have a very sort of deep crease and it is definitely not helping to to keep the shape of the eyeline that I wanted to draw but not that it's not working um, but I just wonder maybe I can make the end a little bit more um, upwards Voila! 
So one side is done. I'm happy with the shape now, like going a little upwards. And it's basically like having an, a, like an enlarged, extended eye line without it failed. So this is one side and I'm gonna try to do the same on the other side. Voila, that is done with the line itself. If you actually like this makeup and I like to match it with this kind of hair, you can totally live it like this. But I'm actually going to do my next two more steps and it will be the look that Austin and I created during our photo shoot. So next up, I'm actually going to fill in the inside of the eye line that I just draw and drew, draw, drew. And you can choose whichever color that suits your complexion or depending on the mood or it depends like why you're doing this makeup. I mean, I was inspired through our photo shoot so I thought of doing this as a tutorial but I can see you can do this eye like sort of like a cat eye for like Halloween if you're dressing up as Catwoman or if you wanted to do like fun makeup on your children then you can do it on your kids or Whichever, it really depends, but I'm going to do the same yellow color that I did during the photo shoot to fill in this. So I'm going to use my Wet n Wild floppy brush, small one, and I'm going to totally wet it a lot. And then I'm going to use my contour cream kit from Anastasia. If you have cream eyeshadow in the same color that you want to put the shade in, you can totally use that. But since I don't have one, I'm just going to use this cream contour palette to give it as a base. That way, it's going to help my um, shadow, which is powder form, to uh, stick better. So I'm going to take this, a lot of it. I'm going to... Blend it out a little bit on my hand and I'm carefully gonna start coloring that in. I just erased the part of my line, so I'm gonna fix it. And then I'm do the other side real quick. So when Austin did this on me, I literally was lying down on the floor. You can see it right here. And I was just talking to Robbie and literally Austin sort of drew on my face. But now that I'm doing this to myself, um, depending on the angle of my brush, I keep like sort of um, erasing out the eye lines. So I'm gonna have to fix it, but it's not too difficult to fix it. So don't worry about it too much. Don't get stressed over it. Actually, it's a little difficult. Oops. <laughs> It's just because I have this really deep crease line. Okay, I take that back. It's kind of difficult. Austin, I, 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 I'm like, I don't know how you did it. So I'm done with filling in the inside of my eye line using a contour um, kit. Now I'm going to take uh, another eye makeup brush, a bit more fluffy, but also very small. I'm going to take my Sugar Rush Goals 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 palette and I'm taking this yellow color, Live on the Edge and I'm going to take a lot of it on both sides I'm really now going to have to be careful on coloring in where I just put the contour cream shadow If you give me one night and there we go. I got that yellow shade filled in all the way inside my eyeline. And we're done. The other side should be a little easier, but let's try it. So brush. Ta-da! take Sephora's Outrageous Falling Mascara and apply that. Let me know your time. Let me know your time. To 
the definition on my lashes. And last but not least, so this look um, was inspired by another photo that I saw on Instagram and it was Jen Im's photo shoot with I think a magazine. And what they did was basically put a lot of like Chanel logos on her eyelid and made it super glossy. And so I looked up and I actually got these super cute like 18k Chanel CC logo gold stickers. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put one each at the end of this line and finish this look. And I'll be right back. Ta -da! And I have the gold Chanel logo at the end of my eye line. Um, during my shoot, I found a black CC logo sticker. So I put a black one and now it's gold. So it's a little bit more hard to spot, but it's super luxurious, cute, and very like designer beauty look. Now I'm just gonna finish up with some lip for my my makeup look. This is NYX um, suede matte lipstick and it is violet smoke. I'm just gonna I know you got some poison with this witness. Sang it up, so give it to me, I can change it. Dab that in gently. And then I'm gonna cover that with also from NYX Duo Chromatic Shimmer Lip Gloss. It's super shimmery. And here we go! That's the end of this makeup look and I'm just gonna finish it up with a bit more hair and I'll be right back. So that's the end of this look. I have this little cute braid on either of my buns. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you were inspired by this very experimental uh, makeup. As you guys know, I like very natural makeup um, that I can do every day, but this is always like fun to sort of try out and I feel like a little TLC once in a while. So thank you so much and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys. Problems in the past, chicken cuts, man, and go to not on the tear.